All right, welcome everyone. I am Rajneesh Gupta, and with me I have Jemin Pathak. This is our mock interview series, and um, yeah, so let's get started. The process is pretty much uh, simple. Jemin will be asking me questions, and I'll, I'll have to answer him. Uh, so before, but, but before we get started, make sure you subscribe the channel, and if you are an existing subscriber, press the bell icon so that you get notified immediately. All right, so let's get started, guys. So, hi, Jamin. How are you? Hello, Rajesh. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me here. So, Rajesh, uh, today my question is are on web application firewall. Okay. My first question is what is web or web application firewall? Sure. So, web application firewall is is basically used to protect uh, you know it's, it's a specialized firewall which is specialized for protecting the web uh, servers okay uh, web applications from uh, web based attacks uh, it could be cross site scripting attack it could be uh, sql injection attack file upload attack cookie poisoning or uh, ssrf any sort of uh, you know web based attack or even the denial of service attack as well so basically the waf um, uh actually protects the web pages by filtering out the traffic filtering out the uh you know unwanted malicious traffic uh, monitoring those traffic blocking any malicious attempt uh that is coming to your web servers uh it's just like your proxy servers right you have a forward proxy uh, which which is actually protect the uh branch office internet users right so the forward pros proxy look at all the sites that user is accessing to and possibly block it as well um a waf works like a reverse proxy it, it sits at the server side and it hides the server information and actually becomes the intermediary between the client and the server so what waf operate in a similar fashion but just in the reverse manner that's why it is called reverse proxy as well so that's that's waf yeah okay got it so the next question is <clears throat> what are then the different ways that you can deploy waf well i mean um, in in the practical world uh, i would say uh, you know a First of all, there are multiple solutions available. Uh, we have Akamai, we have Imperva, we have Cloudflare, which is which is more for uh, uh, public use. Uh, enterprises mostly go for uh, Akamai. They mostly go for uh, Imperva, and there is there are some solutions which is uh, hardware based as well, like from Big IP, from Radware as well. So let me categorize them. basically we have cloud based and fully managed as a service okay so this is where uh, this is where uh, if we if i want a a, a very fast uh, hassle free solution uh, where i want the company itself the provider itself take care of everything i don't want to manage any hardware or something it should be completely cloud based solution so that's where you know people go for cloud based and fully managed services uh that's where akamai and encapsula come to in the picture the second solution is the cloud based and self managed where you have a cloud based solution which 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 sits in between your uh, user request and your web server but it is self managed you have to manage yourself so you get a flexibility of looking and monitoring the data uh or traffic going back and forth uh having complete control over the security policy recommendation and everything so that's where cloudflare becomes very very useful now the third kind of model is the on premises uh where you have your own data center infrastructure so on premises waf uh, is very very advanced because uh that's where you you get a better flexibility higher performance uh more security uh, security features as well so if you have mission critical application that's where it become more important so that's where solutions like big ip asm adaptive security appliance and radware becomes very very useful so these are three more, uh, more some of the most popular deployment method yeah so rajesh uh, then what do you do with the web 
well i mean as a as a security analyst my job is to uh, look at the waf logs uh, if there is any alerts coming in from the waf i look at that i investigate any suspicious or anomalous web traffic such as maybe let's say we have a frequent request for a very strict uh, restricted resources or unexpected uh, we have a lot of un unexpected http response code maybe so on those situation i investigate what what what's going on at, at uh, on that web server and also uh, we also have uh, a, a regular review and uh, internal audit sometimes external audit as well as a part of pci dss compliances or maybe it's the iso compliance as well so in that case we uh, i i go i go and for conduct the regular review of waf configurations uh, rule sets uh, to ensure that they are aligned with the our standards policies and a recommendation as well um, one of the cool uh, one of the important i would say feature is the waf reporting so we, uh, every month sometime in the week as well we look at the reports and analytics as well to understand uh, what's the what different performance metrics such as traffic volume to a web server uh, you know attack detection rate uh, false positive rate and then we understand the effectiveness of those web solution normally we share those reports to the security auditor and um, then we understand the effectiveness of our web solutions as well so that that's 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 what my uh, responsibility really looks like with web solutions so yeah okay yeah got it so yeah rajesh this is all i have for today thank you thank you so much jamin and uh, thank you so much everyone for watching this mock interview session and if you have any question do let us know uh, we would love to answer you that thank you